Okay, uh, I believe this is video number eight of uh, Random Electronics. Uh, this little thing's pretty cool. It's a Sony AM-FM clock radio, uh, and it's got a CD player right there on top. Uh, this was my grandmother's. Uh, the model number is C ICF CD800. Uh, it was manufactured in October of 1995. Um, actually, earlier today, I was messing with this thing, and uh, I had it upstairs. I was doing some cleaning, and that's the first time I've ever messed with it, and uh, it works. I don't. I didn't test the CD player part of it. I figured we could do that here on the video. Uh, the radio works. The clock works. I didn't check the alarm function on it, but... Uh, it's in pretty good shape. I don't know what all these little white polka dots are. I'm not real sure, um, but given some time, I could probably I could probably get that cleaned up. Uh, so anyway, I thought I'd just do a quick demonstration of this thing. Um, like I said, it comes on. And it it gets it gets pretty loud. But I guess it has to to wake you up because it's an alarm clock, basically. Music on K -E -Z -K um, so anyway, that's that. I'm going to turn that off. Um, it's got the little... Which is interesting. I just realized this. I don't understand why they have an analog uh, tuner here, tuner display, when they very well could have just stuck it up here in the... Uh, and the LCD up there. That's very interesting. I just I just realized that. Hmm. That would have been probably a little bit better. Um, because these things are kind of hard to keep tuned to get tuned in correctly. Uh I don't know. Anyway. So it's got uh it's got the various buttons on the top. It's got a tone control, there's your volume. Uh it's got alarm, two alarms. Uh, you can, I guess, yeah, I guess you can wake up to the CD as well. And then you know your, your buttons. So actually, let's see if the CD works. Uh, I have a CD here. It's just got, you know, nothing too exciting on it. Uh, I have. If you get, if you go back and check my other videos, um, there's actually a uh my magnavox my uh my combo unit magnavox the big stereo unit it's got the tv built into it it's got the big speakers in it um just a real quick thing on that i really haven't messed with it since those videos uh i'll do a quick update on it in a little bit uh but for right now anyway the cd that i'm gonna put in there is the i hooked the cd player up to it when I got it, some of the caps changed in it, and I was just testing to see how it sounded. Um, so let's go ahead and throw that in there. I'm not going to play play it too much. I don't want no copyright strikes against me. So we'll just try to mess with it a little bit here, and we're going to see what's going to happen. Um, and I have never done this, so bear with me when I just start pushing buttons here. Um, I don't know. I guess do I hit that? All right. Wow, something that's fairly vintage and it actually the CD player actually works. All right, how do you change the track? Hmm. Change tracks and everything. That's good. And actually for having two little bitty tiny speakers, I don't know if you can see them in there. Uh, it actually doesn't sound that bad. I mean, there's really not any, you know, there's no bass to it or nothing, but it's not bad. All right, let's not play too much of that. I don't want no copyrights strikes. Um, so yeah, um, cool little clock radio, I guess. Um, 
just something different. Uh, I actually might just use this. Uh, I don't know. I, I want to use it, but I'm not sure where. Uh, it might just be a good little... Uh, you know what? I'll probably put it back up in my bedroom. And uh, I'm not going to use it for an alarm clock. I don't need to. I use my uh, use my cell phone for an alarm clock. Um, might be just a neat little uh, radio just to put up on my dresser. And if I'm up there rooting around, you know, I can just listen to the radio. Um, it doesn't, of course, it's manufactured in 1995, so it has no aux inputs and definitely doesn't have any type of Bluetooth or any of that type of thing, which is okay. You know, it's technology just keeps changing so much on everything. Uh, so anyway, that's probably it for this video.